Hello. Thank you for joining me on another one of my videos. My name is Cliff and I'm one of those people here stating that the Lord is shortly to return. This information was given to me by the Holy Spirit Himself, basically teaching me by all the things that are out there in the world, the truths about what is real and what is not real, what is invisible and real, and the things of the Bible. My education comes from the things in the world and uh, Prophet T.B. Joshua and my pastor, Pastor Bob Johnston, Global Kingdom Ministries. Um, these two were uh, taught to me or told to me that I should listen to by the Holy Spirit. Okay, now I'm doing a series of videos and I call this series 99 Problems But My God Ain't One. I'm running down from 99 all the way down to number one on what our issues are related to the world and to our God basically. I'm calling this one number 94 our emotions, human emotions. Okay, the reason why I'm doing this uh, human emotions at this point is our human emotions basically is something that is connected to everything in the world. One way or another, our emotions is connected to everything that goes on. Uh, whether it's related to something that we hear across the ocean or something that we hear about going on in our neighborhood or just going on in our own family. There is a, a, a connection one way or another. Um, maybe it, it could be a big connection or a small connection. Um, when we use numbers to measure things, um, we're sort of deceiving ourselves. Um, a lot of things we try to measure on a basis of 1 to 10 or 1 out of 100. How do you feel? Do you feel happy or do you feel sad? 1 out of 10, 1 out of 100. But there's no real measurement for any of these emotions. Any emotion is as far as God is concern is limitless. There, there is infinity on every measure of emotion. Uh, love, hate, um, pride, um, self-indulgence, um, our self-esteem. Um, every emotion that there is that we are, that we have that we have as human beings is related to the world on every level in one way or another. And that emotion is supposed to sit is is supposed to stay connected to the Lord Almighty. We're supposed to stay in love with God. That's the first thing and that's uh, the ultimate thing that we were supposed to be as human beings but um, what the Lord told us not to do which is uh, don't be of the world uh, go live in the world but don't be of the world uh, we are caught up in doing um, this is how our deception our biggest fault that is going on in the world today has got us to this point. The Holy Bible is a book that teaches us that how we were supposed to be, how we were supposed to live. There's no way that you can say that you, if we all live by the instructions of the Holy Bible, that we would be in this complete mess of uh, a world that we are in right now. It's because the Bible has been turned upside down and backwards 
that we are in the state that we are in today. The Holy Bible is a book for people that are that know that they're supposed to love Jesus Christ and God and respect Him in His desires, loving each other. Uh, by loving God, you cannot kill one another. You cannot hate one another. You cannot judge one another. These are the words of the, the Lord Almighty. As far as the book is uh, has told us, these days would come. In the end, these days would come. The days would return like the days of Noah. Okay. And this is where we're at. Every human emotion that we have is the key to what Satan wants to bring down in one way or another. Our, our emotion, our belief, our faith. He wants to attach himself to. One of the, his greatest ways in doing this is in the deception of of the physical. Um, men and women have have only well have gotten to a point where they only believe in the things that they can feel, touch, see, smell, or hear. Meanwhile, the things of the Bible teach us these are not even close to the things of the world. Uh, Jesus was talking to one of the Pharisees and he says, How could you understand? How could you not understand me when I'm teaching you the things of this world? And he was referring to the demons and uh, the things that are unseen that are in this world. And, and he goes on to say, how could you understand the thing, how can I explain the things of the heavens, heavenly things, when you can't understand the things of the earth, the things right in front of your face, or right in where you dwell. God was trying to tell us, those that believe in me, that have not seen me. Blessed are those. As he was telling Thomas. Thomas a disciple that walked around with him for years. And saw the things that he did. Back and forth throughout the, this country and that country. And he told him what was about to happen. He would die and then be risen again. After all the miracles he did and all the things that he showed he was going to do and he told him, Thomas had to physically touch him. Thomas still had to physically touch him. Like, like Jesus was lying to him when he told him that I will die for you and I will be risen on the third day. But Thomas did not believe. Our emotions, our love, is the key to what's going on in this world. God said these days will come where, when the enemy will be drinking the blood of the saints. And this is what we're at. We're at this right now. It's going to be a bloodbath. One third is going to perish. 
one-third like it says in Ezekiel, where he parts his hair. Third and a third. So, are you ready is the question. It's time.